Well, thank you for coming, everybody. Um, it gives me great pleasure to announce this today, that Barbara has now become the first full-time professional international lady to be signed by Glasgow Rangers. Um, I think it's a milestone event for us. Um, I think between your country and, uh, and Scotland, um, it's uh, a massive step forward um, for, for Glasgow Rangers. Um, this season we have uh, uh, we brought in 14 players um, and I think uh, uh, this young lady here will be the cream of the crop. She comes with a lot of experience, um, a lot of goals, obviously, and, and we're very much looking forward to uh, seeing what she can produce for us, but uh, we're very, very much looking forward to seeing her. Thank you. Bala, what do you want to say about this? First of all, I I'm in the surf. I'm happy to uh, accept for uh, Rangers signing 18 months contract. Yes. Uh, it's good to professional like uh, higher level and Premier League, like uh, Champions League. It was both a dream to play for me. Uh, I want to play uh, at 11. Jab me Maldives League kill chuka hai. Itna wo only few days, only few few months. I play or me me top scorer tha. Baby me. I was very happy to play in India in 2016. I am very happy to play in India in 2016. After that, in 2017-18, Spain, Spain, we got a chance to play in the Indian women's football Sportive Cup tournament. I was very happy. Very happy and very excited. That that Spanish Euro country is very physical. Physical play and like unka the playing style. Ha, हमारे थोड़ा अलग है. तो मुझे बहुत पसंद लगा. तो वही टाइप को खेलने के लिए. Thank you, Bala. What played the role of a catalyst uh, for this move to happen is the relationship between uh, Bengaluru FC and Rangers Football Club. We just uh, recently announced a partnership with them. And uh, while this is not about us as a club, it's completely about her, uh, but we're glad that we could play our part with this partnership. And to throw a bit more light in it, I request Mandar to speak with us. Yeah, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Bala for uh, being the first professional women's footballer in India to get a professional contract outside of India, especially in Europe, and for a big club like Rangers. Uh, thank you also to Rangers Football Club for making this happen. Uh, from a Bangalore uh, Football Club uh, perspective, as Kunal mentioned, uh, we were more as a facilitator for this thing. Uh, as a club in the past uh, six and a half years, uh, we have always tried to do things which would help in the development of Indian football. And our partnership with Rangers also was on the similar lines when we announced uh, just a few months back. And on the basis of which, one of the things that we had discussed with Rangers was to uh, help uh, promote women's football in India. And the signing of Bala, uh, first a trial at, at Rangers Football Club, and then the subsequent contract now for 18 months <coughs> is uh, outcome of uh, these discussions and this partnership. Uh, as we all know that it's very difficult to get a, a work permit, uh, especially for a, for a footballer uh, when you're trying to play in Europe. Uh, a lot of effort was put in by everybody involved, including Rangers Football Club, uh, we as a club, and also the fraternity um, as far as Indian football is concerned. And post this effort, uh, we were able to get this work permit. And finally, uh, we can now say that we have a Indian Women who is a professional football player for a big club like Rangers Football Club. 
so i think this is a great opportunity and a great uh, i would say a like a i mean a lot of women footballers would take this as an opportunity to probably uh, look at this to get contracts and try and play abroad and i think this will certainly help the sport for women in india and i think this is a good achievement for bala as a person and also for the indian women's football team thank you thank you mandar uh, we will now throw the floor open to questions we've got a couple of mics on either side you can raise your hand we'll pass the mics around uh bala will take questions in english but she's comfortable answering them in hindi so yes uh just raise your hand and we'll pass the mic around yeah now uh, so i have cup i have a question each uh, first i'll come to bala aapka bahut lamba career raha hai to ab aap jaise bahar khelne jayenge mera aapse sawal ye hai ki what are the challenges aap kya challenges dekh rahe hain aage conquer karne ke liye number 1 aur dusra aapki kya special preparations rahenge iske liye uh, if i can just complete the questions yes, uh, for mark so wh what is it that you are actually looking forward to uh, in this partnership with bengaluru fc Uh, uh, is my question for you yeah. and for mr tamhane uh, what are the what were the difficulties or i wouldn't say difficulties what were the obstructions which came through uh, while managing this team or this partnership so if you can start with bala mera challenging hai ki jo aane wale bachche ke liye wo ye challenging hai aur aapne aap career ko aage banana chahti ho aur country ko bhi proud feel karna chahti ho we're looking to expand um on a global scale um i think we've in a short space of time we've touched in a lot of places and uh, discovering new talent um and the partnership um as i say with uh, manda here has been so brief yet so fruitful um this is this is the way for us um you know especially on the on the women's side women's football is becoming very very big very very quickly now um there's a lot of talent out there young ladies um uh, deserve to get the chance to go and play and become better player become better people um and this young lady now has all that on her shoulders she is now the the face of indian football for ladies um this i mean a lot of people could say this is just a pr stunt but this is not a pr stunt this is this is a young lady with lots of talent lots of experience she scores lots of goals creates lots of goals and in our development right now um Well, we are with with the team back home and we're 14 players we've we've signed or re-signed uh, over the summer and uh, uh Mala is you know the the icing on the cake for us she has a lot of experience we have a lot of young young players a lot of younger international young players as well um uh, which probably need a a guiding hand on the pitch um we've got uh, a, a french and a scottish first team coach with gregory and and malky who has experience of uh, of managing here in india as well So I think the most difficult thing for Bala is doing these sort of inter interviews especially in English and I I speak from experience when I went to that when I played in Italy I was very 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 young and the stick of mic in front of you and you cannot speak any language so you know it will be a lot easier when you come to Scotland and we put a ball in front of you and you do what you do so we're really looking forward to it. and it's just the partnership that we've had it's been so fruitful um we we we're, we're going to do more stuff together um which will help both organizations but uh, um, you know it's fantastic yeah on a, so when we uh, when we had gone uh, to glasgow for the announcement of this partnership we had spoken about a quite a few things uh, in which we can help each other grow and as i mentioned one of the thing was women's football and uh, amy mcdonald is the head for she's the technical head for rangers football club from the women side and when we suggested that we should call somebody from the indian national team to come for to give a trial and see where it goes from there and uh, when bala came in when they gave us an indication that she is pretty good and they would really be interested in her the challenge that we obviously had or uh, the main thing was to get was to get the work permit and uh, there were a lot of lot of many people who have helped in getting this thing um, obviously uh, rangers appointed a lawyer for that uh phil uh, mr phil was the guy who who could say piloted the whole cause for achieving this uh we have her player representative anuj who played a very important role in ensuring that all the relevant documentation was done uh 
we should mention the, uh, the help of the All India Football Federation. The president uh, issued a letter, Mr. Prafull Patel, uh, which uh, helped a lot. Uh, we had a letter from Bim Bim Devi. We had a letter from uh, Mr. Bai Chung Bhutia. We had a letter from Mr. Renidi Singh as the president of the Play uh, Indian Football Players Association. We had a letter from Sunil Chetri. Uh, and all these letters were put up in a manner along with the technical staff of Rangers in front of a panel uh, under the Scottish uh, uh, Premier League. And uh, I mean, it's honestly safe to say that it was a unanimous decision of all the six panelists to uh, ensure that this work permit was done with the fact that it will help the country. Obviously, India is hosting the under-17 FIFA World Cup. So that also played an important role. And I think uh, that this all collective effort from everybody involved uh, was the reason why, was the challenge also, but was also the reason to ensure that she got the work permit and we were able to get this deal through. Um, congratulations, first of all. Uh, my question is to Mandar. Uh, you spoke about uh, improving Indian women's football. Is BFC as a club going to put out a ladies team also? Yeah, I mean, it's a good question and I was expecting this question. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, we would like to obviously have a women's team. But we would like to do the women's team like we do the men's team. And that is train for the whole year, play for the whole year. And uh, till the time that happens, which I'm pretty sure will happen in soon, uh, we will be in a position to put in a team. There is, there is no issue in putting a team even now, but I don't think it's appropriate or we will be able to contribute the way we want to contribute to ensure that we do a women's team and play a league which is for two weeks or three weeks or one month. So ideally, once we have a proper, uh, say, a three to four months league where you can give justice to all the players, where you train them for the whole year and ensure that they, they get to play adequate number of games, is then we'll be the first uh, team to you know come with the with the women's team in the IWL. My question is for Mark. Uh, yes. So in the past we have seen with the men's player that uh, players not getting that opportunities when they play in Europe or such places. Yes. So uh, is there anything? I mean, uh, is uh, Rangers looking to give her uh, playing time? I mean, that much playing time which she deserves. Fine. For playing time, that she be able to be playing 11 or the playing time in the, in the course of 18 months. Yes, I, I would imagine she'll be a key player. I think Bala will be the key player. She'll be the number 10. You don't give a number 10 shirt out pretty uh, willy-nilly, as they say. Um, you have to earn the right to play in the number 10 shirt. I think uh, Bala has done that throughout her career. Um, just, just getting back to where we were for, for the development of, of, of ladies, this, it's, it's really, really difficult because the, the, the criteria that Bala has to, has to have had to get the working visa has made that possible. The younger, the younger um, ladies and younger boys, um, you know, on the 18th and 19th where you, you, you're going away to learn your football, um, I think that's where, you know, we, ha we have to look at it and, and make it an easier route for them to be able to get, discover themselves in, 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 in different uh, countries and different nationalities. You know, um, it's, it's, as I say, you know, not all Indian girls or boys are meant to play in Indian football. It's all Scottish boys, Scottish women, you know, they're not supposed to play in Scotland. We, you know, we have to make that pathway for younger people um, to, to be, be accessible and to be able to go and live their dream. Um, I, I was able to do it when I was a young, young person, um, but uh, um, you know, it's still in the early stages, especially women's football, um, but I hope we can learn from the, the men's side of it and put it right in the women's side of it on the development of women's football, because um, you know, women's football, at our football club right now, we have had a massive, um, a massive turnaround in a short space of time, the last six months. Um, we have a, uh, the academy. Our, our women's side now is is literally modelled on the on the on the blueprint of the, the of the first team, the boys. Um, so everything that the boys get, the ladies get. The women get this, they get that, they get the same, in, they get everything that the the men get up at the at the training facility, treated the same way. And this is this is where the game is going now. Um, and yeah, long may that continue. Um, I'm a big fan of football. Um, uh, for, at, at all levels and um, it's not before time um, I'm 
big advocate of, uh, of, the, of the ladies' game. And it's nice to see a lady like this coming to play for us. And I'm very, very excited. This, she's not playing 90 minutes every game. I'll be very disappointed. No pressure. So firstly, congratulations to all the parties involved. My question is for uh, Mandar, sir. So uh, you spoke about the obstacles in getting the work permit, but having gone through the procedure once, do you think it will be easier for more cases in the future? And if so, are there any names already in the agenda? Any... No, I mean, <clears throat> definitely for women's football, this could be a case study for more women footballers to get professional contract there, because uh, one such case can lead to uh, many other possible cases to come there. Uh, as of now, for any other names, I mean, we haven't thought about it, but we hope that there'll be sooner more people, uh, more girls getting an opportunity to play. Hopefully through the partnership with Rangers, we can have probably one or two more girls going there. Uh, and again, no pressure on her, but she leads the bandwagon for that. And obviously her performance there will, will be an indicator for all of us as to how, uh, and as, as Mark was mentioning, even the women's uh, team will train at the Hummel's training field where the men's train. So it's the same facilities, everything would be as, as what has been given to, to men's football. Apart from Bala, I believe they have got around three to four other international uh, internationals playing for them. Venezuelan, I believe, a French, French. and Northern Ireland. So there is a good mix, mix of uh, girls that will be playing with her. So that's a massive exposure. And I think this is something really, really big for Indian football in terms of getting a and, and, and we are mentioning about an 18-month contract. It's technically two seasons. Uh, there is a possibility of a restructuring of the season in 2021-22 season. So for that reason, this contract is an 18-month contract, but effectively it's a two-seasons contract. And when you talk about two seasons for, for a football club to give a professional contract for any player for two seasons, he has to impress, he, she has to impress that uh, technical staff to ensure that kind of a lengthy contract. So. I think this is a, it's a, it's a, it's a big achievement for Bala and for Indian football, I believe. Mr. Mark, can you tell us a bit about the trials which she underwent and the qualities which you saw in her so that you could hire her? Yeah, um, well, I, to be quite frank, I, I didn't see a lot of the, of the trials, but uh, the guys that did see, and I, you know, I'm to and fro up to the training ground, um, um, were singing very high praises of her. Um, I think that was clear to see right from day one. Um, I think the due diligence that the, uh, the, the, the guys have to do when the, because of the, the money that's being invested into, into the ladies game at this particular moment, especially at the football club. Um, um, the guys know what they're looking at. Um, I, I, I had a lot of conversations with Gregory. Um, I, I know Gregory pretty well. And, you know, he, you know, he was absolutely waxing lyrical about Bala, I um, couldn't talk enough. I said, enough, what about the other girls? Uh, you, you, were the main, you were the main topic of conversation. Um, so yeah, delighted, um, you know, Gregory's played at a very, very high level. Um, you know, French international, played for Liverpool, obviously played for Glasgow Rangers as well. So he's, he's seen, you know, a lot of top talent and, you know, straight away, soon as soon as you see top talent, I mean, I've been in the, in the game of football for 50 odd years. You can, see, you can see talent within 10, 15 minutes. And uh, um, even standing outside, I thought she, she's a decent player. I believe she scored a few goals also during, yes. the, during the trials there. Yes. That always catches an eye, a goal scorer.